He is my friend Mark Georgie, and he's thinking ahead, guys. He's been listening to our, our weather team. Uh, do you pay attention? You know, we're getting the, those cold temperatures this weekend, so he is cooking up something that you can try at home to keep you and your family warm in these chilly, chilly temperatures. So we appreciate you being here, Mark. Oh, thank you for having me. So what are we cooking up today? Well, I did. we did some roast turkey the other day, so okay. I took the leftovers and made a turkey stock out of it, right? Mm. And saved some of the turkey meat, actually. And so what you'll do is you'll heat up your chicken stock, put your meat in, your carrots, your celery, mm -hmm. your onions, Cook it for about as long as you want. Mm -hmm. You cook it overnight if you want, but yeah. I did it uh, this morning. So um, you just take that and a little bit of salt and pepper, and I mean, it's good to go. And then your noodles take about maybe 11 or 12 minutes. So, so do, you, do you put the noodles in once everything's already boiling yes, together so it yeah. kind of picks up the flavor exactly, of everything exactly. in there? Exactly. And these, oh, cavatappi noodles are cool because they're little, little corkscrews. Yeah, they really hold, they hold sauce and juice really, really well. I feel like Vanna White. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> and so in the meantime, okay, the weather's changing. Everybody should be paying attention to this. Yes. If they're not, they should. Anyway, we're doing a grilled cheese sandwich. To go with, with the soup. Uh, with some Guinness cheese. Ooh. And uh, years ago, I used to sell Guinness beer, and it's wonderful, but they finally came out with a Guinness brand cheddar cheese. Okay. And taste a little bit of that. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. It has a Guinness taste to it, I'll say it that. It does. <laughs> And then we did a little thing for uh, for holiday, well, holidays, Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Coming up, get a nice big pretzel, arrange it with your uh, charcuterie, some cheese, some strawberries. Easy. There you go. Easy, easy. And we're gonna put together this right here. And, and with grilled cheese, there's no, no correct way to do it or no. correct way it cross, amount of pretty, cheese, right? No, you can put as much or as little. Use whatever type of bread. This is a Texas toast. And um, super simple and really, really good with soup. Ooh. So we we'll go like this while that's heating up. We'll just go like this. This should be ready right now. Has all kinds of nice meat and pasta and vegetables. Oh, it's really hot too. That yeah, looks it's good. Yeah, really good. Uh, garnish with whatever you'd like. Uh, uh, there's oyster crackers. I'm sure you were in New Orleans, right? Uh, yeah, I was. You didn't <laughs> see any oyster crackers down there, did you? Uh, no, because not with even with the oysters, you just full crackers. But yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's a grilled cheese. I did it with uh, with Guinness cheese earlier. See, it's nice Ooh, and melty. Yeah. Can y'all see that in the camera? That looks. How's that? Nice and melty. I'm not oh, sure if they can see that. But we'll it, cut off a little piece for you in a minute on the I hot know. one. I know. And uh, it's just a nice. Like I said, the weather's gonna get cold. Perfect, perfect combination. Grilled cheese and soup. That was soup. And Especially you said chicken. you use turkey, but you could use chicken, chicken or whatever other use whatever you want. Use, but yeah. Definitely turkey. an easy recipe yeah. that you should try out because it's going to be it cold is. this week. And you heard us talking about the warming station opening up soon. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll have the recipe on our website for you later on this morning. In the meantime, we're going to check back in with Wes Wyatt to see exactly or just about how cold it's supposed to be getting over the weekend. Hey,